Yeah, hello and welcome back to another video today. What's today's plan? Actually, it was only one little mission today, which would have been to pick up my E90 because it's been sitting in a workshop all winter to get some stuff done. And then I wanted to test if the car still works. And what's the best place to do that? It's honestly the German Autobahn. <laughs> so we would have picked up the E90 and drove it in the German Autobahn. We would have given you some sound checks and everything because let's be honest, one of the best sounding cars there is. But yeah, I just got a call from Ulle. He's destroying all my plans again because he's been staying at my place the last couple of days and his GTR broke down. So that's why we're loading up the trailer to the Raptor with money. <laughs> because we have to pick up Ulla's GTR and bring it to his house because I think he's having the same issue I had a couple of videos back with my GTR. Whilst we're at Ulla's place, we can also see what he's been cooking the last couple of weeks because he's building a twin turbo performante and we can maybe check that out, which is pretty cool, I think. Yeah. After all the work, we're gonna go and have some fun with the E90, I guess. Also, while we're here, look who's back. From Finland, the Supra. It's got a nice bumper again, and but it still has the little toy inside the hood here. Also, the Viper is back from Nordschleife. It's still a bit dirty, I have to clean it. I'm very motivated, so let's go and get some work done and help Ulle. Today's Ulle rescue mission. Ah, yeah, let's get those good old energy to start a mission. All right, let's go. Go. Well, if you see this, I love you. <laughs> oh, sheep in. Let's go. Okay, so just picked up the 90 and Mani is telling me it's not driving properly and it's actually in limp mode. Is it auch mit Notlauf gelaufen or? Okay. But it is a richtige Motor in Bulldog and und a Droh for minderte Leistung. Okay. Okay, let's have a little bit of a little bit of Alright, let's hope that this doesn't ruin our plans even more. Yeah, the E90 is driving, but it's still in limp mode, so we have to figure out what the problem is. Okay, so a little update. Uh, we didn't find any good fuel for the E90, and so we just drove off. But the good news is we are now at our next problem, which is Ulle's GTR, which we have to pick up. So we're gonna go and do that now, I guess. Okay. How is the A90? It's worse than before. It's worse than before? Yeah. What was? <laughs> it's running again, man! Your <laughs> mix! <laughs> uh, at least some good news. <laughs> well, why are we I, both I, filming? I told the audience that the guys are running fun again and I want to troll you. You just pranked me, you know? <laughs> just a prank, bro! <laughs> All right, so at least Ole already prepared the hook for us. Very nice. Oh, seats are pretty fancy. Whew. Okay. So let's see. Okay, yeah. Nothing happens. Just press the gas and first gear. Can't shift to second gear. Yeah, I think it's fucked. <laughs> See if reverse works. Yeah, reverse is also not working. It's fucked. <laughs> Does it work? Nah. Nothing. Core millimeter. I've always wanted to try my winch out, so today... Boy! I am captain of the black pearl! This is the greatest thing in the universe. So it's not clearing because of the lip, but I'm a genius. I'm placing some sweets underneath, and I hope that this will be enough. Okay, yeah, nine. So it's a good idea being the plant up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Who said guns don't help people? They help perfectly fine. Still working? Let me see. <laughs> I just want bigger guy with the wolf. GTR is on a trailer where it belongs. That was harder than expected, honestly. 
Now we drive off to Ole, deliver him his problem. And I hope that the United States is as healthy as it is right now. What a day. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we finally made it to Ole. Uh, I don't know where to put his GTR now. I guess we'll figure something out. Oh, his E92 is already ready. Waiting for us, perfect. Let's see where he is. Hey, where is this? It's a flash car, huh? Servus, <laughs> Walker. Hello, servus. By the way, that's Ulis E92. It's also ESS supercharged, like mine. I think we're gonna have fun after we unload the GTR. And also, let's look in the garage what Ulis is building. <laughs> if you're wondering what happened to his Evo uh, on the transport to Finland, sadly, something very unfortunate happened. That's also why Ulis didn't drive with his Evo there. to be good again so let's hope it stays this way and maybe we can have some fun later with both M3s. Could you kick it? Send me the eyes. Fish pass kick Okay so the dog has something to eat and Ole has to show us now what he's building inside this lovely little garage. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Where's the turbo? <laughs> ah <laughs> So if you put this onto this and into here, you should have a twin turbo performance someday. Ole told me it's going to happen all today, but I kind of doubt that it's going to happen all today. So I look at it. Today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Ole just told me like the goal is, I think 1,500 horsepower. And he also upgraded the gearbox so that he can theoretically drive 400 kilometers per hour. Practically. We have to test it once the car is done, but I think you guys know what type of video will hopefully come one day in the future. The wheels, yeah. which are also pretty nice. Very nice. You know, performance wheels. Yeah. Finally they fit. They had to do like eight different pairs because <laughs> none of them would fit. But now finally <laughs> I got them to fit. I have a video wheel collection. <laughs> Everything's repainted on the Lambo as well. Oh. The problem, Ole's Lambo was running last year, but uh, I don't know if you remember, when we were driving to Red Bull Ring, it soaked up so much water that the tide locked the engine. It's not for driving in the rain. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit water. So now he has some new, hopefully not water filters this time, air filters, and now it should run. This is the suspension on the Lambo, AMS. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Nice shit, or is this shit? No, 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 it's this shit. <laughs> nice shit. <laughs> okay. Everything's repainted. Dominic, you like it, huh? <laughs> right now, it's still a Fred Feuerstein car with the. Uh, you need your feet to move the car. I can stand in here. Everything's looking like brand new. But we also just noticed Ole right now only has one working car, which is the E92. So let's hope it survives this day. <laughs> <laughs> if this car is running in three years, you might see it on YouTube. Next week I am getting the gearbox back from the shop and yeah, 14 days. <laughs> 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 this well, old engine, by the way. Look at this. Done there. <laughs> and it's gone. This one is also damaged. This is also damaged. Yeah, so the reason why he has three engines is because this one broke shortly after installing. That's the new one. And there's a third one which was the water engine. <laughs> yeah, it was not Dominic, by the <laughs> <Okay>. way. <laughs> so we did everything that we needed to do here at Ole's place. We looked at the Lambo and I parked the GTR. So yeah, it's time to have some fun now. And I think I know a good way to start the fun here in Ole's driveway. <laughs>
was about to say I missed this car, but I have a big cam installed in my home. Yeah, so we don't really know what the problem is because we can't read it anymore. We started the engine new and the problem is gone, but I have a feeling it will come back. So what I have to do now is I have to do exactly the same thing as before. I have to do donuts until my car starts running on five cylinders again. And then we can finally see what the problem is. <laughs> Yeah, so our uh, patented diagnostic system worked. It's doing donuts until your car throws the error message. Cylinder number seven. The spark coil is gone. <laughs> yeah. So we need a new one. And it's not during the week, so all the shops are closed. I think we have to take it out of Ulis' car. <laughs> so we're getting some new coils right now, which takes about an hour. In the meantime, we've managed to unload the GT off the trailer and get into the garage. Well, uh, wanted to show me that the Black Series is running on five cylinders as well, he told me, or seven cylinders, I don't know. Yeah, so we did a small test lap and the car seems to be working again. The real test begins now on the Autobahn. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so we finally made it to the Autobahn and look who will join us as well now. Mr. Willibar himself. <laughs> so much honestly it's nice to know that we still have the probable software or death on my car also I should probably say this right now we're not really trying to get to top speed with the M3 I'm just trying to have some fun honestly just trying to show you how good this car works and how nice it sounds uh, we're not really racing as well Ole is just having a good time as well to know who's faster or anything. Just two guys having fun in their cars, honestly. The best sounding BMW, honestly. Let's listen to what this car did. <laughs> he literally shot flames next to the police <laughs> and the police was like but well, it's okay we're just having fun like i already said yeah. nothing to worry about Driving at 5,500 RPM at 200 km/h is just a pain in the ass. But it's 
it's better than in Italy last year, where every time I let off the gas, the car would shoot flames out the back. Oh, yeah. It is the same, okay. It's still as bad as in Italy. Meanwhile... It's <laughs> Ketan here. And then we have Greta, give us a shot. Yeah, feel it good. Honestly, I think the German Autobahn is the only place where you're cruising at like 200 km per hour. You have an Opel in front of you driving the same speed. And it's legal. There's nothing you can do about it. I might need a new engine now. Yeah, so we have to get the Raptor now. Luckily I have a trailer with me. And then I guess it's time to go to the workshop. Two hours later. Yeah, so uh, after damage report, my car is still running. It's not running great. I think it's running on like five cylinders. Funny enough, it sounds exactly the same like it did at back at Ulla's place. When yeah. was, uh, only now I think that I have a hole in my engine. The car is on the trailer. It's going to go to Mani, previous owner, who's already crying. And then we're gonna check out what happened. I think I know what happened. It was just a bit too much for the engine. I should have probably serviced it a bit earlier. 155,000 kilometers of pure joy and freedom. Luckily, it happened here and nowhere else. Yeah, wish you know. Boy, check this out. The motor, a bit. What? 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 We have a problem. Also, we have two problems. We have to stay off the hang of this other thing. Yeah, what's this? Ich glaube, der ist so platt, um ehrlich zu sein, dass es da gar keine Luft mehr hilft. Oh, da ist jetzt wieder noch ein Stück. Noch ein Stück. Geht rein, geht rein, geht rein, geht rein, geht rein. Wir haben es gleich. Und da. Das ist noch ein Stück, hat mich gerade zu weit. Er ist so heiß. Die Seiten wollen nicht. Aua! Du ah, okay. Ich <laughs> need uh, some pliers to take out that shit. Of course, I'm a little bit sad if you think about it right now. But this opens up many new opportunities. Das ist die Gerne, was wir gehabt haben. Wir müssen kein Mensch ausschneiden, wir müssen nicht. Den braucht ihr gar nicht weit fahren, den könnt ihr gleich. Sechs Ball, Jungs. Das ist ein Meter bei der LKW-Partie. Das ist ein Echter, oder? Das ist ein Echter, ja. Ja? Ja. 
Danke. Der Auto klingt immer so gesund, Mann. Ist ja, ist nicht gut, gut. Perfekt. <lacht> meins leider schon, meins klingt genauso. Das war's immer, Jungs. Tschüss. Ciao, der Wurst. 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 It's now a few days later and we have gathered here to look at the damage of my E90 M3. We still don't quite know where all the oil came from because there's no hole in the engine, at least here on the upper side. I think down there. Downside maybe, yeah. So yeah, really unfortunate, but the E90 will come back stronger, I hope at least. Also you see all the oil here on the hood came through here onto the windshield. <laughs> By the way, Mani is the previous owner of my E90 and he took care of it for many many years so uh, apparently he's a bit sad which I can understand but it is what it is Those have to do us so. In the trailer, the car sounded like it had yeah. nuts and bolts in the engine. Auskohn. Auskohn is Auskohn. But where is it and here? Yeah, so honestly, we don't really know what the problem is. The car is running seemingly fine. One cylinder is misfiring, but yeah, we're taking it apart now to see what the problem is. Oh, it's a bit chaotic right now. It's still burning oil, as you can see in the air. <laughs> Here's the ah. problem. Oi, oi, oi. It's wet. <laughs> and like we learned in Finland, one of the only times where it's not good when it's wet. <laughs> if it just fucked like it. Good. <laughs> good. So it's cylinder number three. We have oil in cylinder number three, which is not very good. So we have to find out how the oil got inside cylinder number three. And let's hope it's just not the worst case scenario, but we will find out, I guess. Lomme? Who is it? We have a piston inside. <laughs> what? So the piston is still inside the engine. The rods are also inside the engine still and they're not bent. But we still have oil inside cylinder number three, which is not so good. And we have oil outside the engine. It's also not good. <laughs> <laughs> but we still don't know what it is. I'm absolutely no help as usual. <laughs> yeah, professionally cleaning my engine bay right now to see where all is coming from. <laughs> This is Alu, this is from Kuim. Sayonara! <laughs> Adieu! Yeah, so we found some small aluminium parts in my oil filter. It's probably very likely one of my pistons, but we have to figure it out now. Oh, 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 back home now we are not very much smarter than we were before we know that the engine is gone uh, probably cylinder 3 the piston just said bye bye it went through the entire engine basically yeah it is what it is the car is getting rebuilt now we still don't know how or what is going to rebuild the car but it will be back in the meantime as a bye bye to the old engine I would say here's a nice little edit of all the things the car has been through in its glorious 160,000 kilometers 
So yeah, rest in peace E90, you will be gone but not forgotten. <laughs>